with its new sequel coming out in theaters finally this Friday, let's talk about Peter Rabbit. Big Days Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the... 2018 3D live-action computer animated comedy flick Peter Rabbit, released by Columbia, along with Sony Pictures Animation, based upon Beatrix Potter's character of the same name. The film was directed by Will Gluck, who recently did Easy A and the Annie remake from 2014, from a script he co-wrote with Rob Lieber. The film features James Corden as the voice of the title character, along with the voices of Daisy Ridley, Elizabeth Debicki, and Margot Robbie, as, well, other voices, plus Rose Byrne, Domino Gleason, and Sam Neill in live-action roles. Anyway, it focuses on Peter Rabbit as he deals with new problems when the late Mr. McGregor's great-nephew arrives and discovers the trouble his fa peers, well, his, I should say, peers' family can get into. So here we go. In England's Lake District, Peter Rabbit, his cousin Benjamin Bunny, and triplet sisters Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail spend most of their days picking on old Mr. McGregor and stealing vegetables from his garden. They are friends with a kind-hearted local resident named Bee who spends her time painting pictures of the rabbits as well as the surrounding nature. Bee took on a motherly role with the rabbits ever since their mother's death, and after their father had been killed and eaten in a pie by Mr. McGregor when they were young. One day, Peter is forced to leave his jacket in Mr. McGregor's garden and goes back to retrieve it. However, it was a trap set by him, who catches him but suddenly dies of a heart attack due to decades of unhealthy lifestyle choices. Enthralled, Pierre invites all of the local animals and takes over Mr. McGregor's manor. Meanwhile, in London, McGregor's great-nephew Thomas, an uptight, controlling workaholic, works in the toy department of Harrods, where he waits for a promotion to associate general manager. He indifferently accepts the news about the death of his great-uncle, whom he did not know about, but is infuriated over losing the promotion to a lazy nephew of the managing director and is fired for losing his temper. His now former manager encourages him to spend time in the country. So when Thomas learns that his great-uncle's manor is valuable and that he's inherited it, he decides to appraise and prepare it for resale in order to start his own toy store near Harrods to get his revenge. He kicks out Pierre and the animals and begins to upgrade the security on the garden and well, the garden wall and gate, excuse me, despite Bee's objections. When Pierre and a reluctant Benjamin sneak back into the garden, Thomas catches the latter and attempts to drown Benjamin in a river, but hesitates. Benjamin's relatives rescue him. Thomas instead accidentally drops a prized set of binoculars that Bee had given him earlier, forcing him to retrieve it. Thomas and Bee end up falling in love with each other, much to Pierre's jealousy, and he and Thomas start a war with each other by setting traps and other offensive nuisances. Things get out of hand when Pierre rewires an electric fence set up by Thomas, prompting him to throw dynamite in the rabbit's burrow. After the rabbits trigger Thomas's allergy to blackberries, he attacks them in the garden with some dynamite on the warpath against them, and tells Pierre that his antics caused him to become aggressive and attempts to strangle him, but B, having heard the commotion, comes by and Thomas feigns having saved Pierre from choking. Pierre detonates the dynamite, proving to be that Thomas was using it, but accidentally blows up the burrow, causing the tree on top to collapse on B's art studio. B ignores Thomas's explanation of the rabbit's involvement and ends their relationship leave a heartbroken Thomas to return to London. Now to the final act in the ending. Like always, you know the procedure. You have five seconds to stop this video. Please go to the description box below and fast forward to the time below to avoid ending spoilers, okay? And if you've seen the movie already, continue on, please, after the five seconds have come to an end, okay? Here we go.
Okay, you've been warned. Pierre feels remorseful for the damage his recklessness has caused, and upon learning that B intends to leave the neighborhood, he and Benjamin head to London to bring Thomas back. Tricking him into thinking he was imagining the rabbit's ability to talk, Pierre explains to Thomas to follow his heart. They rush back to the country where Pierre shows B the detonator and presses it for her to see, thus confirming Thomas's previous claims that a rabbit caused the explosion. Pierre and Thomas explain to B and plead for her not to move away. Wishing to remain with B, Thomas no longer wants to sell the manor, but they discover an unpleasant wealthy couple who Thomas had encountered earlier and been tormented by had already bought the house and finalized the sale. So Pierre, his family and friends use their tricks to force the couple out of the house, allowing Thomas to move back in while keeping their deposit. Thomas and B resume their relationship, and he allows the wildlife to take food from the garden within reason. Pierre and his family restore the burrow and the yard with Thomas and B's help. And soon, in the end, Thomas sets up his own toy shop in the village, where B showcases her paintings of the rabbits. End of story, my friends. So what do I think of Peter Rabbit? Well, I, although I've only seen it one time, which I went and saw this at the theaters, the film's got mixed reviews, and from what I've seen, it's pretty cute and fun in ways. I don't care what anybody says. It did get a little controversy over the little bit of the blackberry allergy scene and what have you. But nevertheless, it is pretty colorful in ways, and I do think it's, very good in ways. Well, it's not really one of the best that Sony Pictures Animation is taking part in. Now, although they're not taking part of the second movie, though, since they're doing other things now, like more recently, The Mitchells vs. The Machines, and then they've got that um, new film, um, Wish Dragon, that's going to be coming up, which will also come up this Friday on Netflix. I'm just going to say that Peter Rabbit is definitely not bad. I like the performances we got from Donald Gleason, who, of course, recently had appeared in in the recent Star Wars films, the, the recent Star Wars trilogy, as General Hooks. He plays Thomas McGregor, playing old man um, Mr. McGregor is... Sam Neill, who I know him from movies such as the Third Omen flick, The Final Conflict, as well as the Jurassic Park franchise. He was in the first and third ones. Rose Byrne, who recently appeared in the Annie 2014 remake, plays B. Now, the voice acting cast is really good. As I mentioned, James Corden is Peter Rabbit, pretty good. Voicing the sing. The sisters, Flopsy, is Margot Robbie, who, of course, had recently done Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad. She would later do that. She would also do the Academy Award-nominated I, Tanya, which I recently watched not so long ago. Voicing sing Mopsy is Elizabeth DeBecky, who I think I've seen that name before. Yeah, she... Appeared in The Great Gatsby, the 2013 movie. She was also in The Man from Uncle and C. Valerian, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yeah. And, of course, we have Cottontail, voiced by another star of the Star Wars recent trilogy, Ray. Yes. We also have Colin Moody as the voice of Benjamin Bunny. And there's lots of other, other voice acting. Um, Domino Gleason, Roseburn, and Samuel provide their voices to some characters as well. So anyway, I really thought they were pretty good in ways. The score from Dominic Lewis, not too bad. Well, the story is, pretty, is a mixed bag in ways, but it does have some fun moments in YV, especially with all the traps in YV. It kind of reminds me of Home Alone in ways, but except it involves animals, though. 
So, anyway, the question is, would I recommend Peer Rabbit? Well, I'd say give it give it one try. And if, if you're not satisfied, then I can't say I didn't try, all right? It's, it's your choice. I mean, if you're offended by something like, well, some of the stuff that might occur, the mischief and what have you, but if you're a fan of the actual character, then give it a go. And look for the new movie, Peter Rabbit 2, The Runway, opening in theaters this Friday. I doubt it'll do that well, considering it's going up against a big juggernaut of a flick, which is, of course, the new musical In the Heights, which has already gotten a, a whole ton of good reviews. This one's got... It's, now, the new one's currently at 71% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is a little higher than the 63% this is. So anyway, what are your thoughts on Pierre Rabbit? Please tell me in the comment section below. And if, and are you looking forward to the new one coming out? I'm sure some of y'all aren't. I know some aren't going aren't thinking about it. But anyway, just tell me what you thought about in the comment section below. If you like the video, click the like button below. Subscribe to my channel. Be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned, the summer of 007 will be coming up. I also have another special announcement. Also coming up on June 11th, I will be, which I'll be continuing the summer of 007. I will also be reviewing Ferris Bueller's Day Off for its 35th anniversary. So just so I give you an announcement of that coming up on June 11th, all right? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you like this, you may want to check out some of these other fun-filled family flicks from Sony Pictures Animation. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of the Smurfs. The upper right-hand corner is the Smurfs 2. Both are live action animates, just like this. And, or if you want, go to the bottom left-hand corner for my review of the Mitchells versus the Machines. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.